Hi guys, hope you are God, cause I am God, and hope you are God, and we can all be God together. Welcome back to Abraham's Garage, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going to an event where they invited me to view the 2024 Maserati GT. I'm super excited, cause the first time I'm gonna be seeing this car in person, and everything has been changed from the previous model, so it's completely been refreshed. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. Let's go and have a good time at the event together. All right, guys, so I'm just getting ready to go to the event, and I got a Buasat over here. I'm coming over here. Got the Mercedes and the Maserati. So I'm just wondering which car should I take to the event? Should I take a Buasat? Of course not. Obviously, we got to take the Maserati. It's a Maserati event. All right, guys, let's go. Let's start the car. All right, guys, let's do a cold start and sport. So we're just in the car going to the event. It's gonna be about 30 minute drive or so and then we're gonna get there. All right guys, we well, just made it to the dealership now. As you can see, it's located right here. And what I'm gonna do right now is go inside and actually see the car for the first time. I'm super excited because I haven't seen the car before, only in pictures and some videos. But now I can see it from close up and show you guys. So let's go and check it out. All right, guys. So the car is actually located on the other side. I'm just gonna turn the camera and show you what it is. So here's a look at the inside. As you can see, everything's been changed, everything's been upgraded. All the screens are new, so if you compare this car to the one from the previous generation, you would not be able to tell it's the same car until you see the actual name on it. You guys, I'm gonna show you the front of the car right now. Like I said, this car is completely changed. Nothing looks the same as the previous generation. And in person, I gotta say, it looks a lot more sportier than it does in pictures, like every other Maserati product. View of the rims. Check out the side view of the car. So this is what the car looks like from the side profile. Coming on to the back. We do have the quad tip signature Maserati. And as you can see, this particular one has a carbon fibers package. You can see there's carbon fiber located right there as well. Look at the back of the car. Badges. Coming back to the front. 
you have the air vents on the side. One thing I gotta tell you about the interior is the color looks super nice, even the carbon fiber. One thing I did not like about the red on the Maseratis before, like particularly on my model, is that it was too dark. That's why I went with the brown. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna be sitting in the car right now, get a feel for how it is on the inside. Alright guys, so the first thing you notice once you sit in the car is you're actually very low to the ground and it's very common with all the Maserati. It's almost compared to an R8 or a Lambo Huracan. When you sit in the car, that's a feeling you have your center to the ground and everything's wide in front of you. And then inside I can tell you that the dashes are all new. Again, everything's all digital, all touch screen, which is very nice. We have the paddle shifters, which are also very nice. Column mounted, they're very good. And I touch the buttons on the car, they seem pretty nice. The steering wheel is on the smaller side, but also feels very premium. You have the buttons for drive modes located right here, screen located right there. Once we turn on the screen, you can see it's all spread out, nice and big. Click on the navigation. One thing I really like is the resolution is really nice. Obviously, the more forward we're moving, we're getting closer to everything becoming digital with the car. As you can see the app button, you can see all the apps. And then on the second screen on the bottom is basically the climate. So the back seat is actually in too bad. I thought it would be less comfortable. I know the seat is in the front, but if someone smaller is actually driving the car, be able to drive it no problem. I'm sitting in the back and one thing I noticed for headroom is that I can actually put it up here on the glass where the, where the actual roof ends and the glass starts giving it more space. So it's actually very comfortable. I don't have any complaints of sitting. I think it would actually be uh, a lot more spacious than it looks and people would actually be able to put the other people in the back and drive it. Just because of this, I did not notice this until I got in the back. But once I did get in the back, then it's good. And also the seats with Maseratis, and this one's no difference, they're kind of like, they have this slope where you can go in. So what I am is I'm kind of in the back, like in the seat. And uh, it's pretty comfortable. One of the most comfortable that I've sat in compared to the 8 Series or the S-Class. Here's a look of the engine of the car. Very interesting spot for the washer fluid located right there. One thing I did want to talk about with the car is that when I was looking at the pictures and then in person it's very different and when I was looking at it the previous generation looked a lot wider and I thought it was more sporty but now in person when I'm looking at this car I can tell you that it is wider. This one looked a little bit more bulkier so it was like the height looked a little bit more in pictures and in videos but in person it's actually a very wide car you can tell it's a sports car. Let me know down in the comments below if you're happy about the change. All right, guys, let's do a walk around the car one more time and check it out in detail. And there you have it, another walk around the GT, with all the doors, hood and trunk closed so you can get a better look of how it flows again as you're walking through the car. 
All right, guys, we reached the end of the video. Special thanks to Maserati of Ontario for allowing me to come out and film this car. Uh, I had a really good time sitting in it, feeling it for myself, because you know, once you actually get in the car, feel it is all different than once you see on the video. And hopefully I was able to put my feeling through over to you guys, so you guys now know how it felt to sit in this brand new 2024 GT. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. Also, I'm gonna have the dealership's website in the link down below so if you go into the description and if you think about buying a new maserati maybe the 2024 gt go down there make an appointment come check it out hope to see you guys in my next video have a good one